Before we take a closer look at those promises made on the campaign trail by one Deputy President William Ruto, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission having officially cleared him to take his first stab at the presidency, Ruto, who has been second in command for 10 years, has effectively entered new waters battling his key opponent, Ryan Odinga, who is set to make his fifth attempt, attempt I beg your pardon, at the top job. NTV's news editor, Ben Kitili, takes an in-depth look at Ruto's mercurial political journey that kicked off 30 years ago under the tutelage of the late President Daniel Arab Moy. Kweli, mimi ni katibu mkuu wa Kanu. Sina mna hiyo? Lakini Kanu hii ya mimi na mwishimu wa uhuru, Kanu yenyewe ambayo ni ya miaka arbaini, ni Kanu yaki na mwishimu wa kibaki. As ODM, we believe we have a duty to this country to create um, precedents so that in future, people can improve on it. We will respect their opinion to say yes for whatever reasons they have. They must respect our opinion to say no for the reasons we have stated. When we forged with many other Kenyans to form the Jubilee Party, we wanted and we now have a national political movement. Now commission IEBC is to retain Cheso. William Kipchurchi Samoy Arapruto is easily one of Kenya's top three political figureheads, having remained at the center of the country's body politic for the last 15 years. Going into the August 9th presidential contest as one of two frontrunners, Ruto has been described as being a heartbeat away from the presidency. I see him as a, a self-made man, a man who will want to project himself as an ordinary person, having lived an ordinary life, and so I wants to identify with the half notes. William Ruto was born on December 21st, 1966 in Kamagut in the county of Wasangishu to Daniel and Sarah Cheruyot. He attended Karotet Primary School for his elementary education, then Warang Secondary School for his O-levels before joining Kapsabet Boys High School for his A-levels. And it was during his time at the University of Nairobi in the late 1980s where he studied botany and zoology that Ruto's political appetite came to the fore. He would later enroll for a master's degree in environmental science and a doctorate in philosophy in plant ecology from the same university. After graduating with his bachelor's degree at the height of the clamor for multipartism in 1990, Ruto plunged into politics. He became the organizing secretary for the Youth for Kano 92, a group that had been formed to drum up support for President Daniel Arap Moy, who was facing the rigors of a multi-party election for the first time since ascending to power 14 years earlier. The connection comes because Ruto was a, a leader of the choir in the AIC church. And as you know, Moy loved the church so much, AIC especially. So probably I think that is the starting point, the end, Ruto's entry into politics. In the 1997 general election, Ruto was elected member of parliament for Eldoret North constituency, beating veteran politician Ruben Chisire. Ruto went on to serve as Eldoret North MP for 15 years. Ruto is very good, he's a good orator. He can speak endlessly and he chooses his words in a way convenient to the audience that he's addressing. So when he goes to Western, he knows what to say in Western. When he goes to Central, he knows what to say to the people in Central. So yeah, understanding his audience, being able to be very measured. In 2002, as he retained his parliamentary seat, he found himself in the opposition benches for the first time as the NARC revolution swept Kanu out of office. Five years in the opposition led Ruto to join hands with Raila Odinga and others who had fallen out with President Mwai Kibaki on the back of the controversial 2005 constitutional referendum. Going into the disputed 2007 elections, Ruto's political stock had risen significantly. I think we have managed to persuade our followers and supporters of ODM to agree to a nomination exercise. 
That does not, however, preclude the option of um, agreeing on, on a candidate <coughs> as so long as uh, that ag agreement brings on board all the players uh, of ODM. He sought the Orange Democratic Movement, ODM presidential ticket, but polled third behind Odinga and Musalia Mudavadi. He became a member of the famous ODM Pentagon, emerging as the undisputed Rift Valley political kingpin. He, he, he was able to galvanize the Rift Valley. He was able to work very closely with the people on the ground. And he was seen as the point person in the Raila campaign in the 2007 elections. Following the bitterly contested election of 2007, which was marred by post-election violence, Ruto joined government in the ensuing efforts to solve the political crisis. He was named Minister for Agriculture and later Minister for Higher Education before falling out with Odinga. Ni jukumu letu kama serikali kupitia kwa National Cereals and Produce Board kuhakikisha ya kwamba wakulima hawapotezi pesa zao. As the late President Mwai Kibaki and Raila Odinga successfully led the nation in promulgating a new constitution, Ruto took a dissenting view leading the No campaign in the 2010 constitutional referendum. How can you lie to millions of Kenyans unless you are telling us that those Kenyans who are in no are fools? Another significant chapter of Ruto's political career came in December 2010 when Ruto was named among six other prominent Kenyans, including President Uhuru Kenyatta, as those bearing the highest responsibility for the 2007-2008 post-poll violence that left over 1,000 people dead. Ruto would battle a Crimes Against Humanity case at the International Criminal Court for the next five years. And as the 2013 general election approached, Ruto teamed up with Kenyatta in a surprise turn of events to found the Jubilee Alliance, where they beat Odinga's Coalition for Reforms and Democracy Court. I, William Samoei Ruto. And Kenyatta was elected Kenya's fourth president, with Ruto becoming the country's first deputy president. In the run-up to the 2017 general election, Ruto led efforts to fold his alliance's constituents' political parties to form the Jubilee Party. Kenyatta and Ruto won the vote, but had to contend with the shock of the Supreme Court nullifying the entire election. Kama hawana shida na kura ya MCA, na governor, na senator, na mujumbe, Ati wako na shida na kura ya nini? Ya rais. Na kama tuluwashinda hiyo viti ingine yote tano, tutashinda kuwashinda hii kura ya rais. They were re-elected in the repeat poll, boycotted by Raila's coalition, NASA. However, trouble hit paradise almost immediately after, following the largely unforeseen handshake between President Kenyatta and Odinga that split the government and the governing Jubilee party right down the middle. Ruto then moved to the United Democratic Alliance, UDA, in efforts to succeed Kenyatta as Kenya's fifth president. Ruto will be banking on his political networks with his Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance partners and shrewd mobilization skills as he seeks to make history as the first person since the reintroduction of multipartism to win the presidency on the first time. Kibaki had to run three times. Raila is now having the fifth stop at the presidency. Uh, so if he wins, he will be making history. If he, however, loses, he has nothing to lose. He is 56, like I said. He looks forward to, uh, he can go back, learn his lessons. What went wrong with these campaigns? Why didn't I win? And get ready for 2027. Nairobi <laughs> na but he will have to contend with the colossal coalition, the Azimio Laomoja train led by his arch nemesis by Laudenga and tacitly backed by state functionaries. Ben Kitili, NTV.